Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're back to another random engineering board exam problem. So this is problem number 28. This problem, guys, is a past mechanical engineering board exam problem. So this is under trigonometry. At one side of a road is a pole. 20 feet high fixed on top of a wall 15 feet high. On the other side of the road, at a point on the ground directly opposite the flagstop and the wall, subtend equal angles. Find the width of the road. Okay, so we have the wall and then the flagstop is on top of the wall. Based on the problem, the pole is 25 feet. So let's just put 25 feet here. And then you have the wall that is 15 feet. And then on the other side of the road, so that's the point on the other side of the road, the flagstaff and the wall, they subtend equal angles. So therefore, if this is angle, say, theta, this is also angle theta. So this total angle here, is 2 theta. So that's the twice of this angle theta. So based from this figure, we can form a triangle. Okay? And then, dalawang, ang, dalawang triangle yung form natin. So dalawang right triangle yung form natin. You have this bigger right triangle and then you have this smaller right triangle. So this is at right angles. And then, the width of the road is itong uh, orange line which can be denoted as x. So, based from the relationships on this right triangle, we can say that, so we have tangent of 2 theta. So, we're considering the biggest right triangle here. Tangent of 2 theta is equal to its opposite side over its adjacent side. So, in this case, Ang opposite side natin is 25 feet plus 15 feet. So that is 25 plus 15 all over our adjacent side, which is x. So that will be our first equation. So for the second equation, we have this small right triangle. Okay? So again, tangent yung gagamitin natin. So tangent of theta is equal to its, again, opposite side, which is 15 feet, all over its adjacent side, which is the width of the road, x. So using these two equations, we can find x, but of course, the fastest way to solve this is using your ship solve function in your calculator. But if you're going to solve this manually, now we, we can use the trigonometric identity for tangent of 2 theta. So way back, no? Recalling our identities, that's double angle identity for tangent. So tangent of 2 theta is equal to 2 tangent theta all over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Okay, so we can use that identity in order for us to express yung uh, theta natin in terms of x. Okay, para maging x lang yung equation natin. So tangent 2 theta here. It's just 25 plus 15 over x. So that is 25 plus 15, that is 40. So 40x. So 40 over x is equal to, so that is tangent 2 theta, is equal to 2 tangent theta. Tangent theta is 15 over x. All over, you have 1 minus tangent squared theta. 1 minus, where in tangent theta is, 15 over x. So that is 15 over x quantity squared, since that is tangent squared theta. Now here we can solve for uh, x. Okay, so let's do algebra. So here we can uh, bring this denominator on the other side. So that is 1 minus 15 squared over x squared times we have 40 over x. Okay, we distributed uh, the squared exponent 
yung exponent 2 dito sa 15 tsaka sa x. That's why it became 15 squared over x squared here. And then that is equal to 2 times, okay, this on the right side, that is 2 times 15 over x. In this case, we can now cancel out, cancel out lang natin itong x because it is common on both sides of the equation. And then we can simplify this, 2 times 15, that is 30. So we have here 1 minus 15 squared over x squared times we have here 40 equals 30. And then we can divide both sides by uh, 40. Okay, so 1 minus 15 squared over x squared equals 30 over 40. And then we can now extract x squared here. So let's just uh, continue doing algebra. So here, we can rewrite that as 1 minus. Okay, let's rewrite it first. 30 over 40 here. And then negative 15 squared over x squared equals... 30 over 40 minus 1. So we, we subtract 1 to both sides of the equation. So that's why it became like this. So negative 15 squared over x squared is equal to. So this can become 30 over 40 minus. So 1 can be expressed as 40 over 40. So LCD is 40. So that we can combine these two here. So negative 15 squared over x squared is equal to negative 30 minus 40. That's negative 10. So negative 10 over 40. And then uh, we have here negative 15 squared over x squared equals negative 1 fourth. So that's the lowest term of this fraction. And then we can just uh, eliminate or we can just cancel out the negative sign since it's common on both sides. So we have here 15 squared over x squared is equal to 1 fourth. And then, we just cross multiply it in order for us to extract x squared. So x squared is 4 times 15 squared. And then we get the square root of both sides. So x is equal to the square root of, we have this 4 times 15 squared. So basically, this is plus or minus, but we are going to just get the Positive value because the length of the road is, of course, it's positive. So square root of 4, that's 2. Square root of 15 squared, that is 15. So we have x equals 13 feet. Okay? So therefore, the width of the road is just 30 feet. So going back on the problem, this is just equal to 30 feet. So if you encounter this a uh, past board exam problem in the engineering board examination. So you already know how to approach this problem. So we go to the alternate solution of this problem. Of course, that's using your calculator. So to verify your manual solution, you can go to your calculator directly and input these values and use the ship solve function. So let's use equation 1 and 2 to solve for x. So that is... Let's just first write that tangent to theta is equal to 40 over x. And then we have here tangent theta is just equal to 15 over x. Okay. So here we extract theta. So that becomes uh, 2 theta is equal to arc tangent of. 40 over x, and then theta is equal to arc tangent, that is 40 over x, and then all over 2. So divide both sides by 2. And then for the second equation, you have theta is equal to arc tangent of 15 over x. And then we just equate these two equations. Okay, so that is. Um, arctan of 15 over x is equal to, we have here, arctangent of 40 over x, and this is over 2. Okay? And then we just input this directly in our calculator, and we can solve for x.
Okay, so let's just arc tan of 15 over x. So I'm using Casio 570S plus for this, but you can also use other calculators to do shift solve as long as your calculator has the shift solve function. So alpha equals, and then you have your arc tangent. Let's just put the fraction first and then shift tangent. And then you have here 40 over x. And then over to here. And then let's just do shift and solve equals. Okay, so it automatically solve for x here. So x is equal to 30. So x is equal to 30. So the calculator technique, of course, is faster, but it's always important to know the basic solution or the manual solution for this problem for us to practice or to know more about the concept. So that's all for today's video, guys. And if you have content suggestion, just comment it down on this video. And we'll try to make that on our next videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. And see you on my next video.